Picture Frames Made Easy Part 2. In this series, we'll be looking at the techniques I use to make this frame over here and this frame over here. We'll also be creating a new frame. It's primarily going to focus on the mirroring tool, and we're going to just spend some time working on those techniques, practice them and get them down, and then in the next part, we'll be looking at making this frame here. Okay, so in this part, we're going to be dealing a lot with the mirror tool. Remember, when you're drawing lines, I just made a kind of a habit mistake, but if you're done drawing a line, you could press spacebar and then instantly draw another one. Press spacebar, draw another one, so you don't have to keep going, you know, clicking on that button going back. All right, so first thing is the mirror tool. Very, very useful tool. Um, has great functions, but I, I want to point something out to you with symmetry. And if you notice, I have this square here. And if I take this square, let's see what happens when I mirror this. So grab my mirror tool, which looks like a reflection. And I go top. So you can see, wow, you're really getting a mirror, right? The two is flipped around, then it's mirrored this way, it's mirrored this way. But the important thing to remember is if you're making a design with the mirror tool, anything that you mirror, it, you're going to have four different layouts for it. So if I continue this mirror and I go left, bottom, bottom, let me just throw out a couple here. All right, now what's going on is you could see, hey, there's a set of ones in the center, a set of twos in the center, you know, threes and fours. So essentially one specific pattern or one thing that you make can create four different panels. Each of these panels will have, you know, similar characteristics, but they'll look a little bit different. So very useful. We're going to be dealing with that. Like when we start making like different panels and stuff, so let's take this, kind of get rid of this. Now, you know from the first video, you make a frame and plop everything over it. What we didn't deal with was mirroring some images. So here's the stone one, which we use for the stone frame. So if I take this and we grab that mirror tool and right top, left, Let's take a look at this. So you can see, wow, pretty cool. You already have, like you can see, it's a pretty cool layout. And like I was saying before, if we take this, we're going to have to shrink this down because it's not going to fit. Um, let's pop it over there. So we could think of this shape as the ones, you know, but if, if essentially if we take this and mirror top, this will take a little bit longer because it's, you know, a lot more data left. Now we can see from looking at it this way, like, okay, you got this as a centerpiece. You've got this as a centerpiece. Now that's, that's a repeat of this one. But as you come over here, like you got that as a centerpiece. And which is the missing one? Oh, this one. So really... Right, so here's our four different shapes. We got this one, this one, this one, and this one. How, I mean, how do you pick which four is your favorite? It's kind of hard to tell. They all look pretty cool. It even looks awesome all together, like that, like like one big panel. But we got to talk about putting this together. But yeah, so th that's the benefit of the mirror tool. Now, of course, to make it a frame, let's talk about putting them together. So let's start with kind of like. Um, liking this one, not that it matters because we're going to be removing a lot of that. So we take our mirror. Now let's say you want to put this on a frame. So what we could do is let's bring our frame in. We will center this. Now we're just going to take one of these pieces because we got to resize it. So a simple mirror frame is you want to take the one pattern and make it a little bit larger than 25%. So that might be too big. Let's see. You could always even, if it's not gonna look, now that looks funny, but if you're know if you not gonna lose or if it's not gonna look unproportional, you could do that. Stretch it out just a little bit. 
There we go. And so now I'll grab my mirror tool and I'm going to mirror right. Now you'll notice you get a funny little gap there. Okay. So what we got to do is we got to bring those together. Now the, the tip for doing this is remember this, the further you're away, if you hit this and hit your arrows, it jumps, it jumps a lot. Okay. The closer you get, the smaller those movements are. So you could kind of zoom in and out as you're doing this. And then as you get a little bit closer, you know, make those adjustments. What you want to try to do is get nice and close. Don't worry about it being off the line for now. What we want to look for is a good seam. So I could see like, hey, that seam's not really working. So bring it over a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Now, I'm still seeing a line there. Sometimes the line could look good and maybe you want to leave it there. But I want to get that overlapping. Now what's happening is the data is combining. So what we need to do, modeling tab, I'm going to change this to combine and the other rock to combine. Now you can see it blended those seams together. Now one thing I'm not really caring for is this little piece right here. So what I may want to do now that they're together is maybe I'm just going to stretch that just a little bit. Let's see. And then I'm going to bump it up. I just want to get that piece off of. I think that's pretty good. Kind of like that. I just, that little edge right on the edge, I didn't care for. So now that I have that done, I'm just going to center from um, left to right. I don't want to pop it to the very middle. So now I know this seam is lined up with my center line. What happens is when you're overlapping, you can see like, hey, that's not centered, but the two objects, the seam of where they are together is centered. So now I can take this and I'm going to mirror that up. Now, when you mirror, it copies the at attributes, so it's still in that type of combine mode. I'll take this, let me try snapping it down, snap it down one more time. We'll see. Ah, that seam looks actually pretty good. Um, you may notice, like when you're doing this with other things, that you have to finesse it a little bit as you're, you know, moving in and out, getting closer and further apart. But here we go. This frame is looking pretty nice here. So I'm now going to take. Oh. Was that not on there? I must have forgot to take that with it. Center this piece. Now, because of how we move this, we get a little bit difference up here versus here because the whole entire piece is not centered. So that's one way where you can make it look like it's not a totally perfect mirror, but you still get nice symmetry on the sides and across the bottom. If you do want to make it look perfectly symmetrical, all you need to do is once you combine these shapes or get them to overlap properly is of course center it. And now we can see we get that same little diamond there and there. Another nice thing you could do is you could take this piece and you could even drag it around. Let's say you don't want it to look too symmetrical. You know, you could do something like that. Maybe there. And now this frame, it's going to look different all the way around. Um, but I think the symmetry is a nice technique. You know that you could just take the rocks and stretch it over and, and you know, do it that way. So let's recenter this. Go back to my drawing. We'll recenter that frame. And then just like in the first video, we're just going to take, you know, the vector here and the four pieces and we'll trim those. And there you have it. You got a nice cool rock frame. You know that from, you know that from the first video, you could adjust your heights and stuff before you do that. Um, and then if you like it, you could always take a snapshot of it, create component that creates a baked duplicate. And then you could toss it over here, save it for a little bit later, go back to this. Um, whoop. 
and you know make another skin basically another skin you could do it with an oval so that whole pattern but yeah so that's the mirror tool i mean you could pull out any of these uh patterns or designs and work on that and i think that'll definitely be a a, a great thing to do that's how i make those other mirror frames in the examples um and go from there okay so last thoughts here work on the mirror technique making the frame so you can see um frame four this is the one we just did in the tutorial frame number seven the pebble mirror and number three the leaf mirror you're going to want to get familiar with these techniques because when we go in to make this frame it's going to become a little bit more difficult and you'll start to see that once you get the idea of doing this frame you'll be able to really start to customize parts and pieces and put them together so take some time get comfortable with that mirror tool and we'll go from there and then we'll also be looking at um arrayed style frames which are you know have a little bit of a different technique as we come together and we close out the frame series we'll start combining all the techniques together and uh really making some custom stuff so good luck with that and let me know if you have any questions or thoughts and we'll go from there have a good day